pianos with uh, a piano we're quite familiar with um, in our past. This is a August Hoffman piano, baby grand, built in China in 2007. Model 152C. The 152 stands for the length of the piano in centimeters, so it's pretty much exactly five feet long. It's a piano that we sold new in 2007 to a customer. Um, and we sold this model uh, for many years, for most of the 2000s decade. Um, they were very popular at the time. Uh, we were, I think, very impressed with the sound and touch response of such a modestly made piano and modestly sized piano. Uh, really quite a wonderful sweet sound and a surprisingly wide dynamic range I would add. Uh, it definitely fills this large room pretty well. Uh, it has a deep reserve of power if you need to bring it out of the piano, but you also have a much more quieter, sweeter sound. Um, the, it, it, the piano performs well for the size that it is, being a way of being grand. Um, it's unfortunate that we weren't able to get any more of these pianos after, I believe it was 2008, the factory stopped making the piano. It was the old Dongbei factory in China. Uh, so the model was no longer made, and so we couldn't get them anymore, but we get them back regularly on trade from customers in the past. I think it's because many people over the years back then wanted to start out with a more modest baby grand piano that would get them on the right track of piano lessons and as the students got better and practiced longer, uh, the teachers recommended that they come back to us to trade up to a nicer piano like a Yamaha or Kawhi grand. And that's how we get a lot of these pianos in over the years, even after they were discontinued. Um, which brings me to our lifetime trade guarantee. Uh, the piano does have a 10 year warranty, all parts and labor, like everything we sell. It also has a 100% lifetime trade-up guarantee, so uh, whatever you pay for whatever piano here, it doesn't have to be this one, it applies to everything you sell. That purchasing price remains uh, the trade-in value for that piano at any point in the future with us, if you should wish to upgrade to another piano, trade it in, and uh, all you would have to do is pay the difference between the price of the first and second piano. We do ask, of course, that you make sure it's in tune twice a year by a professional technician, that you keep it away from extremes of humidity. If you do that, you can trade it whenever you want with us to another piano of a higher price. And teachers like to recommend these more modest pianos as a first piano for someone who has to have a grand piano. Uh, we have plenty of upgrades in our inventory too, but if you have to have a grand, this is a good place to start. And um, it plays well, it's been regulated, it feels quite smooth, I think. So you'll be able to get the piano lesson started on a good track, and then as you continue to practice longer, as I said, it may be up to the teacher's discretion to recommend a nicer piano like a Yamaha or Kawhi and we make it easy. So, um, yeah, definitely a nice little piano. And this polished ebony too, very popular finish here. The fallboard is a slow motion. Uh, there's a little hydraulic on either side of the fallboard that prevents it from falling suddenly, so no one's fingers get crushed. Um, but yeah, the polished ebony is quite desirable in the big that we have in our inventory. So if you're interested in one, I wouldn't wait, I wouldn't recommend waiting too long before you check this piano out. Um, let me see, the touch on the, uh, the tone on this piano, not exactly bright, not exactly mellow. I'm inclined to give the touch a, uh, the tone a five on a scale from one to 10, from mellow to bright, very much even. And I find this to be pretty typical of the Hoffman's that I've played. Um, just a very well-balanced, even, sweet-sounding piano, but oftentimes not too bright nor too mellow. I think this is very much meets my expectations for this piano. And I like to recommend uh, a uh, neutral tone piano for someone who's just starting out with piano lessons. If you don't really know what sort of piano that you're looking for, if you're here and you find the inventory to be very wide in its selection, I like to recommend starting out with something that's neutral for tone and touch so that um, it may be easier for you in the future to uh, adapt to a different piano that's mellower, brighter, with a harder or softer touch, whatever, right in the middle for the tone. And I think it's right in the middle also for the touch. I would rate the touch of five on a scale from one to ten from 
uh, light to firm. I think very, it's very smooth, even, but not too hard to play, not too easy to play. I think it's in the middle, and again, something I'd like to recommend for people who are just starting out. Um, and I believe, uh, let me just confirm that. Indeed, the piano does have a middle pedal sostenuto. Oftentimes, more modest baby brands don't have this. They just have a bass sustain instead. Other times have changed. I find this to be more common on recently made uh, baby grain pianos. To include a sostenuto pedal, which is more complicated, but it allows you to sustain certain notes to the exclusion of the rest of the notes on the keyboard, first by holding them down, and then by using your left foot customarily to depress the middle pedal, only the notes that you selected before are sustained, which allows you to play notes in other parts of the keyboard with or without the right pedal, which lifts all the dampers. It's like having a third hand holding down notes on the keyboard for you. So uh, if your teacher told you to find a piano uh, with a sostenuto, it's not very common on upright pianos, so you're more likely to find it on the grand piano. And uh, rest assured, this piano has one, it is a full sostenuto. So definitely stop by if you can and try this piano out for yourself. You're welcome to play this or anything else in our inventory. But if you can't make it, you can always give us a phone call or send us an email if you have any questions.